Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications and Ministries Incorporated. I am Christopher Irvin, founder and CEO of this organization. Our purpose is to spread the gospel throughout the world, and we shall do so. This morning, I'd like to share with you some powerful verses, some powerful scriptures, and I want you to save these scriptures. Write them down. Keep them. Refer back to them because they're going to be a constant reminder to you that our God is God and God all alone. We're about to go deep sea fishing into the word of God. And when we come up, I promise you, you're going to be blessed and you're going to be victorious. This morning, I'm going to refer to several verses I, I want you to share. And I want you to remember these powerful verses from the word of God and the words of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to go to St. John. St. John, the third chapter. I'm going to read three powerful verses, three powerful scriptures I'm going to go to and reference. But I want to read those first, and then we'll refer back to them as I bring you the message. Decisions for the victory or the world. Decisions for the victory or the world. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. First verse. Now I want to go to John 11, 23. And now this is the John 11, 23 through 26. And this is concerning the death of Lazarus. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, shall he live. And whosoever believeth and liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this. Finally, I'm going to go to John 14. John 14, 1 through 3. John 14, 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I shall come again and receive ye unto myself, that where I am, ye may also be. These are three powerful verses and three powerful reminders that our God is God all alone. And the purpose of our religion, the purpose of our belief is that we, as the children of God, will have life everlasting. Knowing that, we as Christians must constantly ask ourselves as we daily walk through this world and this life, are we making decisions for victory or decisions for the world? Two days ago, my mother passed. Three days ago, four days ago or so she passed. And this past Friday, we had her funeral and her homecoming. And a lot of people titled that funeral, 
home going. But I title it as homecoming. You see, my mother, while she walked this earth, was a God-fearing Christian. She brought her children, my sisters and I, Kathy, Jean, Anne. She brought us all up, her and my father, in the name of Jesus Christ. She loved Jesus with all her heart. And she used to recite scripture to me. She brought me into church at an early age. And at the age of seven, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I ran for a while, a long time. But I learned that if you bring a child up in the way that they are supposed to go, they shall not depart from those ways. So here I am today. It was one of the hardest things for me to do. My father preceded her in death, but now they are together in forever, ever land. In the land where Jesus Christ has welcomed them to life everlasting. That's the purpose of our religion. That's the purpose of our belief. That's the purpose that we walk with God. We walk uh, by faith and not by sight. Because we, knowing the God we serve, will lift us and take us to everlasting life. That's the purpose of our religion. That's the purpose of these scriptures. So that we may know that the God we serve is God and God all alone. I want you to remember this, my brothers and sisters. Man cannot serve mammoth and God. Either you lean toward the ways of the world or you lean toward the ways of God. And I want you to understand, and the Bible makes it clear, there will be a division. Those on the left and those on the right. And those who God knows and God has followed and those who have served the Lord shall have everlasting life. Know that, claim that, and keep the victory in sight. We've got to constantly remind one another that we serve a God who's able to do anything but fail. Jesus said it so many times, O oh, ye of little faith. I know it's hard to keep the shield of faith in the world that we, we live in, Satan is in and of the world. But guess what? When we leave and we rise up to meet our master in heaven, Satan can't go. Satan can't go. It was a great homecoming. Relatives come together from far and near, and I have a large family. And the larger the family, the more times we return to these home goings and home comings. And remember that they're not home goings, they're home comings. And the larger your family, the more times you'll return to that. But know this, my brothers and sisters, we are called to lift one another up. And I'm so happy that we had so many friends and relatives there to help lift us up in this moment. Yes, we lost a great earthly individual who served Christ and served God, but our loss is heaven's gain. And we too, must walk that path. We too must take that leap of faith. For on the day that we are laid down our earthly bodies into the ground, we know that we serve a God who will lift us and take us to everlasting life. That's the purpose of our faith. That's the purpose that we love God. And we know that our God will always deliver us. He's always delivered us. 
So when I look at what's going on around the world today in the politics, I say to myself, it's a joke, yes. But let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. The God we serve will continue to lift his people. And there, those who are Satanism in the world, those leaders in high places, their feet shall slide in due time. But let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that we continue to lean not to the understanding of the world, but to the understanding of his world, that we continue to lift one another up, for that is what we are called to do. I want you to pray with me this morning that we continue to lift one another. We continue to encourage one another up, knowing that we can't be on this earth forever and that when we leave, we will have touched someone. We have, will have brought someone closer to the love of Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for constantly walking with us and talking with us in this world. Father, we thank you for lifting us. We thank you for gifting us. We thank you for all the things you continue to do for us. You've been better to us than we've ever thought about being for ourselves. So, Father, we come first of all to say thank you. Father, there are people who are suffering around the world. We ask that you touch, that you heal, that you deliver right now. Someone today within the sound of my voice, Father, is going through something financially, something physically. Someone is suffering a sickness. We ask that you touch and that you heal and that you deliver right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Father, help us to know that we shall all have a home going and a home coming. We may leave this earth and shed these clothes, and we learn to study war no more. And Father, that will be the time that we have the home coming, and we shall be lifted by you, our Lord. Father, we ask that you continue to heal, that you continue to deliver, that you continue to touch right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. We ask that you touch, that you heal, that you deliver right now and claiming the victory. Together, we as a family of God said, amen, amen, amen. I hope you prayed that powerful prayer with me. Prayers of the righteous prevaileth much. Remember that but for those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings of eagles, run and not be weary, walk and not faint. And one more thing to remember, serving the Lord is going to pay off after a while. Those were powerful scriptures that my mother and I shared together. And I shall continue to share those powerful scriptures with you. For that's the God we serve, a God of victory, a God of love. We hope this message has been a blessing to you and you continue to support us. How? Go to Amazon.com. Purchase one of my books or my CD. I have seven powerful books and one CD. My eighth book will be released shortly, coming out any week now. And we have a, a slew of greeting cards coming. The Victory in Sight greeting card collection. These help us to continue in this ministry, continue in this faith, and continue in this struggle, this powerful struggle to win souls in and around the world. We love you, but more importantly, God loves you. And if God be for you, no one can be against. Till next time, remember, keep the victory.
in zijn. 